This bottle's- I'm Mori. Welcome back to... Interruptions, the game- Dylan? What's this? What are you doing near my room? It's part of Condor, I knew it. What's this? I found you, Mr. Hyde. I found out where you live. I heard that you didn't let Marie kill herself. Big mistake. mistake. Dylan. I didn't finish... <laughs> I didn't finish fixing her water. I was really hoping she'd be dead so that I wouldn't have to deal with her bitching. <laughs> hey! Oh, shit. Oh, Mr. Hyde. What are you doing? What do you want? <laughs> Nothing much. Well, it must be something or you wouldn't be hanging around outside my room. Steady on. I'm not up to anything. I'm just taking care of some maintenance. I thought it would be a good time to check the, around the second floor doors. You know, just to see if any of them were unlocked. <laughs> I see. So anyway, Mr. Hyde, what was all about with, uh, what was all about just now with, with that? What was that all about just, I can't talk today, I don't know why. What was that all about just now with Rex? I saw, you know, he's a shifty character. I saw him head up to the roof in the elevator. Yeah, what else did you see? What did he want up there? You know, stuff. <laughs> but do you know what he did before he headed up to the roof? I do. He took a trip to room 206, Marie's place. That's what. No, that was me. A that was me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't you think it's a little strange? In my opinion, they're into something together. I've got better things to do than listen to your crap, Dylan. I couldn't care less what Rex wanted up there on the roof. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure you're actually quite interested. Yeah, and when did you become a psychologist? I'm sure because you were up there too just until now. How could I possibly believe you're not interested after seeing that? Look, Dylan. I just want to know. I'm curious. What happened up there? I hate you, you fucking thumb of a man! <laughs> uh, <Ooh>, no. <laughs> no! Rex won't be coming around here anymore. That's what he said right before he left. Really? You're right about me being up there, too. He and I were putting the record straight. That's when he told me that he won't be showing his face around here again. Does that mean he got what he came for? I guess it does. He wasn't... Wasn't he looking into the insurance policy Marie's late husband said? Oh my god. That's right, isn't it? Did he prove that she was trying to get away with fraud? No. He didn't. No. He didn't. And you know why? Because she wasn't involved in any fraud to begin with. Oh. Okay, then that's kind of boring. God damn it, I was... Uh... What am I supposed to write in my novel? I mean, um... What am I supposed to think about at night? No, I think that's worse. Dylan, come on, think of a good excuse. You're better than this. She'll get the money, just like she deserves. I see. Nah. Dylan finishes talking and looks. Oh, maybe we off. should have said that he found he found something to incriminate her with. That's not his business, though. What if he's working with Niall? Maybe. He Maybe, I don't, I don't care. She can die. That's fine. Is she the Scarlet Star? No. <laughs> She's care. not what I'm looking for. She was about to do it herself anyway. <laughs> Time to give Rachel a call. Hide, what do you want? <laughs> Red Crown, how may I help you? It's me. What's up? Ed wants to speak to you. Can't wait. I'll hand you over. Hi, it's me. I've got some news courtesy of an old friend of mine at the LAPD. It's about the possibility of Condor having made a return to the scene. Sources within the LAPD seem to think that this is a warning in response to mayoral candidate Hugh Speck's planned campaign against the organized crime. Warning. Yes, a blatant warning made by Nile. It's their way of saying that if the police chose to strike against them, they've got their own counter strike ready to be deployed. Hang on. 
why would Niall use the resurrection of Condor as a retaliation against the LAPD? It doesn't add up. An old friend of mine on the force once let slip that regards to that with their regards to Niall. There's something the LAPD aren't letting on. It concerns Condor. Whatever it is, they certainly don't want it to be made public. Hey, do you think there's any way you can get more information on that? More? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> more? I more! He's he just randomly gets mad on like one word. I more! Where to go? I suppose if there's anything oh, more to be had, it might be possible. <laughs> I've been unearthing some facts of my own, too. You have, have you? Listen, Ed. There was a guy 13 years ago who thought he'd discovered a link between Nile and Condor. He wound up dead, but a friend of his told me my dad had, may have been somehow involved. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Perhaps if I extend the net to... If I extend the net to include that Frank Graver was doing, you know, we might get lucky. It'd be helpful. Click. Damn, Why does he do it too? <laughs> Condor, Nile, and now the LAPD. 25 years ago, the Scarlet Star disappeared at the same time my dad died. What the hell is connecting all these things? Three. An hour before, uh... We gotta go talk to Mags. You yeah, better waste time. I guess I'll take two steps and someone will magically be at my door. Oh, there we go. <laughs> my buzzer suddenly sounds. Who's that? Any guesses? Betty. In the comments, put your guess. You have three seconds. Three, two, one. No, it's Tony. It's? Definitely Tony. Oh, Frank. fuck, it's Frank. Oh, it's you. It's Frank Fox. I have something I'd like to ask you, Mr. Hyde. Yeah, what is it? I just heard something from Dylan. He told me that you, Rex, and Marie from room 206 had a little gathering on the roof. Can Dylan stop telling people things? So why don't tell you anything? Not long ago either. Was he right? What if we did? I don't see that it's got anything to do with you. I thought I'd made it clear when we last spoke. You were supposed to keep your nose out of these things. I thought we'd reached an agreement that you would no longer interfere. I distinctly remember telling you to avoid contact with people in that picture. Oh, right. You did say something like that. But I don't remember us coming to any kind of agreement over what I'd do. Oh, you don't, do you? I Definitely recorded it right here with my recording device. <laughs> Don't let your desire for truth come between me and my investigation, Mr. Hyde. I also have this evidence. Hi, my name is Kyle Hyde, and I stole from my mom's purse. <laughs> I never stole from my mom's purse. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Kyle Hyde, and I'm in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not out to get in your way, alright? It's not like I woke up and decided better chat with Rex and Marie on the roof. Then what was your reason for talking to them? Sorry to be the one to break this to you, Frank, but we've got a similar agenda. We both need to find something out before leaving this dump. I beg your pardon. I just happen to have a few questions I needed to ask them. So I went ahead and did it. Simple as that. You had questions for them. Would you care to tell me what you asked and why? Listen, Frank, you really want to know what we talked about up there? Naturally, that's why I'm asking. Well, as it happened, I have some questions for you first. You and Dylan seem very keen to find out what we talked about up there. Why is that? That's because... Oh, so I'd like you to know that I've been looking into you too, Frank. You, you have? Not only you, either. I've done some research on Kathy McGrath's murder that happened 13 years ago. And last but not least, I've been looking into the elusive Condor. So that's how it is. And what, may I ask, have you found out? Pretty much everything you know. I seriously doubt that, Mr. Hyde. Yeah, there's no way you've been able to obtain the same level of information as me. I am a very old and experienced detective, and you should be respecting your elders, young man. Okay, It's boom. time you think about stop- I think it's time if you stop exacerbating. 
as I'm as I'm having a siege of exacerbation right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am aware of the fact you were a detective, but you've made your way here from Manhattan. I was on the LAPD when the incident occurred, and I have been investigating ever since. There's no way on earth you could be more informed than I am, Mr. Hyde. That's right. You keep telling yourself that, old man. Okay, Boomer. Uh, okay, Boomer. Oh, actually, I know quite a lot about the incident and about your past to boot. And l then let's just see what you know, shall we? Tell me what you know about me. <sighs> I know Niles behind Condor. I know you're that to do? up in internal investigation. Uh, I don't know. I feel like anyone would work. I just feel like we should just choose the revel relevant one. So him? Yeah. Okay. I know that when you were in your 40s, you were signed out in an internal investigation. What? Back in the day, you were considered quite a detective. One of the best, in fact. But with one problem. You were willing to go to any length to guarantee an arrest. Hmm. Because of this, you were taken out of the position you love so much. Hmm. It seems you've done your research, Mr. Hyde. But I have to ask, how did you come across such detailed information? You don't need to worry about how I came across it, just that I know. Probably a good idea not to ask any more stupid questions, too. Huh. I'll ask whatever I please. No matter how stupid it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it you also know about the link between Condor and a certain organization. I know Niles behind Condor. Yeah, see, he's gonna say yeah. it at some point. <laughs> the last guy who tried to expose this connection wound up in the morgue. You've certainly done your homework. Or apartment work. How did you make so much <laughs> progress in your investigation, may I ask? Didn't I already tell you? We share a similar agenda. We both don't want to find something- We both want to find something out before leaving here. You're set on finding out what happened in the incident 13 years ago, and I'm looking into another incident that happened here a long time ago. Really? And which incident may that be? One that happened 25 years ago. What? Dink. Frank. Do you know what happened 25 years ago? Do you know what happened 25 years ago? Of course I do. I've had the answer this entire time. Why didn't you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> I could have just told you. Mr. Hyde, tell me, what are you trying to discover about the incident 25 years ago? I'm trying to find something. To be precise, I want to find the Scarlet Star that went missing from Hotel Cape West. And did you say a Scarlet Star? How the hell did you learn about the Scarlet Star, Mr. Hyde? You know about the Scarlet Star. Frank, you know about the Scarlet Star? Of course I do. If I'm not mistaken, I, it was kept secured in the safe at, at Hotel Cape West. It was well protected there. But by means beyond what I know, it was simply disappeared. Only the hotel manager, Michael McGrath, was likely to know what happened to it. Michael McGrath. Now, Mr. Hyde, please tell me how you came to know about the Scarlet Star. I heard it firsthand from Michael McGrath's son. Michael McGrath's son? He was told about it by his father, Michael, prior to his death. He was the one that sent me after it in the first place. So Michael McGrath is dead, am I right? Yeah, he died of an illness three years ago. Before he died, he told his son who was responsible for the death of his wife, Kathy. I see. It would appear that we have a lot to discuss, Mr. Hyde. You're probably right. I'm sorry, Mr. Hyde, but I'm going to have to stop there for right now. We Let's need to get off the skate. <laughs> Let's meet again later and continue this, this conversation. At four. Sure. Wait. <laughs> I already have an appointment at four. Sure. Probably for the best. Where shall we meet? Shall we say Lucky's Cafe at five? Oh, how convenient. Right after I'm going to go talk to Max. That'll work. I'll be there. Until then, Mr. Hyde. And now it's four o'clock. I'm calling it. We've spoken oh. to him for an hour. Oh no? How? Where else? Where else do we go? Oh, okay. We have to get another phone call. Uh, this feels like a ride. Phone. That's been this whole game. Yeah. All right. Is it Rachel or is it Mom? Probably Mom. 
From the other end of the line, I can hear a shaky voice. Oh, shit. Who's that? <gasps> Marie! It's me, Mr. Hyde. It's kind of funny that you kind of instinctively gave her a shaky voice. <laughs> Just naturally. Marie, what do you want? Uh, I'm scared, Mr. Hyde. Why? What happened? There's somebody outside my room. They've been there for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. <laughs> gnawing at the door. But only with his thumbs. <laughs> not, not, not his other fingers. <laughs> Drills like a hole with his thumb like <laughs> looks through and he's just like he's just like, he's like Johnny happened. from part 8. He's just Shh. yeah. Somebody's outside your room? I I think they're they're keeping tabs on me. I think they're trying I'm to so scared. Something. Sit tight. Whatever you do, do not leave your room. I'll be over right away. Okay, hurry. Well, shit. Let's go see Mags. <laughs> hmm. Who the hell could it be? I think maybe I should call Rachel. You know, I probably would have also had the same effect if I just walked outside, considering she only lives down the hall. So who is it? It's Dylan. Is that Dylan? It's definitely Dylan. Is that Dylan? It's Dylan. That's... Dylan! It is the thumb! Dylan! Is he wearing a hat? Nah. Hey! Hi, Mr. Hyde. What are you doing here? Nothing much. Maintenance. More maintenance, huh? Yes, that's right, actually. Don't lie to me! What? Tell me what you're really doing hanging around here. What I'm really doing? I don't understand. Don't play dumb with me. You were desperate to find out what happened on the roof. Then you went out of your way to speak to Frank. And now you're loitering in front of Marie's room. What are you after? What are you trying to imply, Mr. Hyde? You need to take a chill pill. You're jumping to conclusions. You know, if you keep talking, some might say you might go down the... Nile River. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Dylan looks annoyed as he moves away and heads up to the third floor. I don't trust him one bit. Neither, neither do I, Hyde. Let's go inside Marie's room and console her. So she can kiss us. Um, so she can reward us with money. Ah! <laughs> Who's there? I hear Marie's voice from inside her room. It's me, Kyle. Mr. Hyde? Open the door. We need to talk. Uh, okay, just a moment. <laughs> Your mystery stalker's been unmasked. It was Dylan. D Dylan? Yeah, I caught him hanging around out here just now. Why would he be hanging around here? He's been curious about the chat me, you, and Rex had up on the roof. He tried to get me to spill the beans book earlier. Why would he care that we talked what we talked about? Turns out that he knew you even before coming here. He he did? How? Apparently he was called to your old place to do some repair work on the pipes. Funny, I can't remember him. Besides, we always used the same company to take care of the any pipe trouble. I'm absolutely positive that he's never been to my old house. Interesting. I knew he was up to something, but this is really suspicious. Marie, I need you to show me something. You remember the letter you received? I need to see it. Uh, Were we course. right? Were we right? Yeah, he's part of fucking- Is that's he why part he's of Nile? He's trying to- he's trying to get information. That's why he has the painting of the angel opening a door. Yes. I take the threatening letter. So I guess Rex wasn't the sender of this letter after all. That can only mean... Mr. Hyde, are you about to suggest that the person who sent me this was? Yeah, I think I am. Do you mind if I keep hold of this for now? Oh, that paper was the same as the ones that was in uh, White's place, right? Yeah. Uh... Not really, but what do you plan on doing with it? Never you mind. Don't worry, though. It won't cause you any trouble. Marie, I'll be back. 
Don't let anyone into your room until I say so. I suppose I'll just have to trust you then. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> okay, I believe you. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, fucking thumbass, it's you time. Stairs. Hey, thumb. How do you like it having people outside your fucking door? I have to find out which door is yours. <laughs> I just have are. to remember your name. What was his name? What was his name? Dylan. Dylan Fitcher. More like Dylan. More like bitch. Bitcher. Character. Get it? Hey, yo, Dylan. How you like it, bitch? Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. Knocking ain't getting me anywhere. It seems. The door is locked. This is the right door, right? Maybe he went to the roof and jumped. <laughs> oh no, he lived at 304. My bad. This is someone else. Dylan! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck what is this the guy? Fuck? You're at the wrong. You've been here like six times. You think you'd remember? <laughs> I just kind of feel offended at this point. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Mr. Hyde, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of busy right now on maintenance. <laughs> on my own room. <laughs> this won't take long, Dylan. I've got something to show you. I'm in the middle of an Overwatch. Can you... <sighs> what is it? I was playing League of Legends. They're going to be really mad if I'm going to get banned again. <laughs> Not here. Inside. Inside? Trust me, if anyone saw me showing you this, your life wouldn't be worth living. Mm, I suppose you'd better come in then. Well, now, here's the thing. This could be one of two outcomes. It could be that he's a part of Nile slash Condor, and it's a legitimate threat towards Marie. Or he sent a, he's faking it, and he's faking it, and he was just trying to get info out of her. Yeah. Like he's just he he's just a like a drama freak. He just wants to know everything. Yeah. Hmm. Was he packing or something he, away? Or he's a, or he's uh, in love with Mary. <gasps> what is? What's this on the floor? Can I step on it? What you packing? Oh my god! He has clothes everywhere. Oh Look my at god! His pants. What are you rushing to get rid of? Yeah, we could just... <laughs> Mr. Hyde, what are you doing? Sorry. I'm... I'm... I'm snooping. I'm just doing maintenance. You know, when you're a detective, you just do that. Looks like you're busy getting ready for the big move, oh, huh? fuck. It's a fucking interrogation. Yeah. Packing your stuff up, were you? Guess that would explain why you're flustered. Were you planning on heading out somewhere later? Yeah, you know, just going out. I see. That's why I can't really give you much of it, my time at the moment. Why was it? Why that? What, what was it that you wanted to show me? This. Mm. And. <laughs> okay. Does it look familiar? It looks threatening. I is, this, is this your note to me? It sounds like it came from a really cool interrogate. <laughs> <laughs> Really calm, buff, beautiful man. What's your point? <laughs> he definitely has abs. An impeccable gem collection. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, it's a threatening letter that was sent to Marie. Oh, is that what it is? Hmm. <laughs> There's no more hiding it, Dylan. I know exactly who you are. Your name is Dylan Fitzshar. I don't know what you mean. Don't give me that bull. Tell me who you are. Please, Mr. Hyde, don't shout at me like that. It makes me tear up. Then start talking. We can start with what you really were doing outside Marie's room. Right. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Dylan, I know what you were doing. You were performing we maintenance, maintenance on, on the- room. You were performing maintenance on the room and doing your job. Yes. <laughs> you were keeping tabs on Marie. What? I was just doing what I was told to do. Who told you? Max. Or Max is making him. You knew Marie before you came here. 
Or so you claim. That's right, I did. I used to do the plumbing in her old house. Yeah, but that's kind of a lock of bullshit. Something doesn't add up, Dylan. You've never been to her old house. She says she doesn't remember you. Yeah, but you can easily see. That's refuted. That's refutable. Yes. You've never been to her old house. What? She told me that whenever they had problems, they used the same service. So now we've established that you haven't been there. How do you really know her? That That's that's because I was in training. I'm not, I wasn't officially a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I was given some information about her. By Mags. Who told you to watch Marie? Dylan. I, I can't tell you that. <laughs> not that it matters, I already know the answer. Yeah? Who do you think of that? What do you think you know? I know who told you to watch her. But they're both the same. <laughs> it was Nile. Well, because Condor doesn't really exist yet. Yeah. It was Nile. Nile? That's it, isn't it, Dylan? I don't believe it. How the hell did you manage to find out so much? Oh my god, he really <gasps> is part of Nile. You wrote that threatening letter to Marie under the orders of Nile, which means you were likely placed here to watch over the tenants and send the letters. What else can I say? My job was to stay here and watch over those women. I can't fucking believe this. I can't believe we were right about Dylan being the villain. <laughs> He's the fucking main villain. We don't even need to talk to anybody else. This is this is our guy right here. Take him in. Take Get him out away. the dancing lobsters. Case dismissed. What kind of information did you receive? That would be... It was information you had to relay to her, wasn't it? That's right. But what do you... Do you know what kind of information it was? Sure. It was about her brother and husband working for Condor, not getting along. It was working for Condor. Yeah. yeah. It was about her brother and husband working for Condor. Right again. Marie was a relative of an ex-Condor operatives. She didn't know this even after both of them had died. Yes, we know that. Condor may have disappeared 13 years ago, but left behind some women who would come in handy for Nile. Condor proved to be a useful subject to Nile in more ways than one. Shit. And which women would they be? The women you were supposed to watch. Which women would they be? Do you really need to ask? I thought you figured it's it out. It's pretty right obvious. <laughs> Tell me. Well, it's Marie and that Patrice woman, of course. Patrice especially. I'm sure she's still hiding something in her room. Mags is hiding something in her room? Yeah, there's no mistaking it if you watched her like I have. Well, no shit. How did Niall hope to use Condor? Stop doing that. You don't have the right to do that anymore. <laughs> How did Niall hope to use Condor? I thought that would have been pretty obvious, too. Man, you really don't know anything. Wow, you're really fucking retarded. <laughs> they used him to... The... The I say? The, the sure. Lazy with the LAPD. Liaze with the LAPD. Liaze. Lay's potato chips. Lay's potato crisps. Uh. <laughs> sure. As you no doubt already know, not a single member of Condor was taken down. Why do you think that was? It was because of the corrupt element in the department working on Condor cases. You motherfucker. Well, Mr. Hyde, it looks like you've finally managed to expose my true identity. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, Hello my honey. honey. It looks that way. When did you realize? I knew there was something fishy about you as soon as we started having our little chats. <laughs> Ew. You figured me out in, su in a single week, huh? Looking back, maybe I shouldn't have spoken to you too much. If I had taken that approach, I might have been able to get to the end of my stay here without arousing any suspicion and just continued to be the maintenance man, Dylan. Still, I guess there's no use in spilling over... Spilling over cried milk. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe the timing was pretty good. Hold it right there. What do you mean the timing was pretty good? What are you planning now? I've just got one thing left to do. 
Let them know that Kyle Hyde is onto them and is likely <gasps> an obstacle. Oh no! Oh, fuck. I should have come talk to you. <laughs> what did you say? What's the matter? Scared of Big Bad Nile? You must have guessed that once you exposed me, you'd put yourself under the line of fire. Don't tell me you never considered it. Sure I did. But you think that's gonna put me off? I won't be intimidated by scum like you. Well, I admire your nerve. With guts like that, you're wasted being a salesman. Yeah, I hear lots of that. I've got nerve all right. Enough of it to shoot an ex-partner of mine who worked for Niall. I may have quit the force, but there are certain things you can't shake off. Dylan, I don't get many opportunities to chat to criminal lowlifes like you anymore. Hey, don't push it. So I'd like to use this chance to ask you something. You're going to tell them that I've blown your cover, but what's going to happen to you? What are you trying to say? You really think they're going to keep a guy around who can't even remain in disguise? Mark my words. Based on the Nile I know, this isn't going to end well. At least not for you. You'll be the first to disappear. What do you mean by that? I'm pretty sure that once you've given them what they want, they'll figure there's no sense in keeping somebody whose cover's been exposed. And then what do you think will happen to you? You can't exactly hand yourself over to the LAPD, can you? Not after what you told me just now. If Nile really does have a mole on the force, and you hand yourself in, you'd be digging your own grave. Are you threatening me? Not at all. Just letting you know the facts. Then, when they've disposed of you, it won't be long before they take me out too. It's not gonna be like that. I'm sure of it. Come on, Dylan, wise up. What are you going to do? I, I, I haven't got a clue. What, what can I do? Shut the fuck up. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna shut the fuck up, you're gonna sit down, and you're gonna leave this fucking town. You've got There's yourself a guy in... coming back in the train station at <laughs> 6 tomorrow. You've got yourself into a real fix. Come on, answer me. I have no idea what I'm going to do now. Maybe we can strike up some kind of deal. Here's what I'm thinking. Since my life's also in danger, perhaps if we agree to keep recent events to ourselves, we can both make a clean break. By the time Nile realizes the lack of contact means you've gone, they'll come looking. But you would have gained yourself a couple of days head start. A couple of days? That's not going to stop them. Where the hell do I run to? Not to mention, how can I be sure you'll keep quiet about me? If you're stuck for somewhere to run, call me tomorrow night. I know a way you can escape undetected. Whether you choose to believe me or not is totally your call, though. <sighs> Dylan? Huh? Dylan's right arm oh. moves. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you Don't. son of a bitch! Don't move. That is the least intimidating gangster I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what you said sounds good, but I'm not so sure I'm the kind of guy who believes everything at face value. It's decision time, Dylan. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna commit suicide. I'm gonna have to think about all this. That stuff you said, that's something I can't decide on lightly. After all, both of our lives are in danger here. You got that right. So I figure we've lived under the same roof a while for now. I think we can come to some sort of agreement. We just said this. Yeah, I, we were Here's what I'll do. I'll wait until tomorrow night to give you my answer. Before then, neither I nor neither I nor Smile will make any sort of move. I think we could both do the same. I uh, will do some rest tonight. Now just stand still and don't move until I'm out of here. You got that? Catch you later, Mr. Hyde. Dylan gives me a sarcastic little smile as he leaves the room. No nope, time to steal his stuff. Alright. You're gonna really leave behind all this? Come on, dude. There's a newspaper lying on the desk. The front page has an article about a jewelry theft that happened in Pasadena. There's totally something we could find in here. Can we find our own piece? Everybody else is pointing guns at us. Why can't we point guns at yeah. people? Because we're not cops or gangsters. Closet is open and there are he clothes in heaps at the bottom. Frame jigsaw puzzles hanging on the wall. 
Picture on the puzzle is of an angel. Opening a door. I know the guy that <laughs> I know the guy that painted that. <laughs> How about I have an idea. Let's let's just leave. <laughs> and never see him again. I'd better let Marie know about Dylan. She's gonna take a gun out too and threaten us. God damn it. <laughs> so you know everything now, hi. <laughs> what? How much you wanna bet he's already in there? Hide. I hear Marie's voice from inside a room. It's me, Kyle. Ah, uh, Mr. Hyde. Open the door. Okay, just a moment. That's actually me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna continue this conversation next time. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and hit that bell notification if you want to see the next episode of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. Uh, check out our other series like Hotel Dusk Room 215, Doki Doki Literature Club, Mario's Time Machine. Uh, check out the Completionist Challenge live every Tuesday and Wednesday at around 12 o'clock. Uh, question of the day. Uh, have you ever met a person that just did like a complete heel turn? Like they were not the type of person you knew you thought they were? Like just, and, and like... So like just in open, just having a casual conversation and just basically just pops up from there and it's like wait what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put that to... shit in the comments below. On bottles. I'm Hori. See you next time. Bye bye. Continue.